Yeah, but first, before we get to Charlie, we have reached the reveal in our Where in Wisconsin segment. But before we show the video, hold on one second. I want to share a couple more guesses. So we had a few people say uh, Wisconsin Dells. Um, Ellis Deli on East Washington, North Freedom, Baraboo, some of the names. I want to hear who. Circus World. Kathy said Baraboo Circus World. Um, let's see, I had one more. We had a couple in Spring Green. Oh, Kelly, House on the Rock, Spring Green. Yeah. But the overwhelming number of people who wrote in said Argyle, and guess what? You're right. Buck and Jan Guthrie have converted their old family farm into the toy train barn. Buck's day job is a railroad engineer, meaning he gets to play with trains, both large and small, at work and at home. <laughs> Our morning photographer, Alan, takes us there. My husband, Buck, started collecting trains when he was five years old. He grew up in Pennsylvania. There's actually a Roadside America Museum in Pennsylvania, and that is all trains in that. He never saw it. He heard about it, and he's read everything about it, but he never got a chance to visit it. When we ba bought back the old family farm, this is what we decided to do, so it's kind of like our own little roadside of America. I come home from gro grocery shopping one day and put my bags and groceries up on the counter and my microwave was gone out of the kitchen. That's because it's here. All I do is turn on a microwave oven and the trains start up. There's a scavenger hunt listed in different places and it's got a list of about 40 things to try to find. This is like Where's Waldo or, or I Spy. Superman coming out of a phone booth is the hardest thing to find on the scavenger hunt. I'm not going to tell you where he's at, but he's actually coming out of a telephone booth and he's got his blue leotards and his red cape on. My favorite one is the burning house. If you push a button, the house actually smokes and lights up on fire and there's a water hose with a fireman and real water's coming out. You can come here three, four, five times and you're not going to see everything in it. You can't see it all in one, one visit, which is very cool. Alan, we want to thank our photographer. Yeah. Did a beautiful job putting that together. How fun! Ooh, that was there. I had yeah. no idea. Well, Kathy Front said she uh, took her grandboys there, and they loved it. It's a must-see place for young and old. So we obviously learned that from watching that great video there. That's what I like about. So every Friday we're doing this. So you learn a new thing. You know, mm -hmm. every Friday a new place to visit in our area.